oftentimes I have clients tell me that they want to find somebody who is going to love them unconditionally. And I think that that is a terrible idea. The reason why I think that is a terrible idea is because when I was looking for my husband, I didn't want to put any standards on him that I didn't want to uphold myself. And I don't think that you should love someone unconditionally. You know, I just did a short video on this on my feed if you want to check it out. But in general, unconditional love, the whole idea of it, the way it's promoted, it is usually promoted by people who want to use unconditional love as an excuse to treat you terribly. You know, the people who go on and on about how you should love someone no matter what are the ones who are most likely to put you through that no matter what. So, you know, I have unconditional love for small children who are innocent and who, you know, don't know any better. I have unconditional love for God, but that's about where that list ends. It's not saying that you shouldn't be nice to people, that you shouldn't be kind to people. You know, as a preacher's kid, I always get that, oh, well, like, you're supposed to love everyone. Yes, you're supposed to treat everyone with kindness. You're supposed to have compassion for everyone. But that doesn't mean that you allow people to, any and everyone, to come into your life, to treat you however they want to treat you, and to put up with other people's BS because it's unconditional love. Unconditional love means being nice to others um, when you're talking about that particular verse. But in general, we should very much have conditional love for other people. We don't tolerate struggle love. You know, we don't, tr- we don't tolerate continually giving someone love, affection, attention, kindness, only for them to not appreciate it only for them to continuously take advantage of you, only for them to act like, you know, your affection, your time, your attention don't matter. We don't accept constantly having to go out of our way to prove we love people by putting up with things that people who truly loved us wouldn't ask us to put up with. You know, we do conditional love around here because conditional love is about reciprocity. It's not a tick for tat, like if I give you $5, you must give me $5 back. But it's a general knowing that if you truly care about me and I'm taking the time to reach out to you, to have conversations with you, if I'm taking the time to consider your needs, if I'm compromising because, you know, I want to put in the work to help, you know, make our relationship better, to help you be happy that you are doing those things as well. If I'm giving you my time and my attention, that you are giving me time and attention as well. If I'm pouring into you, being a listening ear, being someone to give you advice, um, you know, being someone who is supportive, then you should also be supportive of me. The whole idea of love being unconditional comes from people pleasing and from low expectations and low self-esteem. People can only love you at the level that you love yourself. So if you are constantly, you know, giving up yourself, sacrificing yourself to make other people happy, then people aren't going to truly appreciate it. And they're also not going to give you the love that you're seeking. They're going to think that you enjoy giving all your heart and soul and energy, that it's not a big deal to you. They're going to think that you enjoy making all these sacrifices or that at the very least you don't have a problem with it and that you don't expect anything in return. When you show that you love yourself, when you treat yourself well, when you respect your needs, honor your boundaries, then you are teaching people how to love you. You are teaching people how to treat you. And also as a result of that, when you feel love and respect it and appreciate it, you have more energy to be a good person to other people. You have more energy to love the other people in your life. Anyone else feeling a bit of a pandemic hangover? 
you know, we're getting back into our routines after two years of being thrown for a loop. But things still don't feel quite normal yet. And if you're listening to me, you're serious about having great relationships after a long period of not being able to meet people in person. Therapy has helped me so much with navigating this new normal. And that's why I'm celebrating Mental Health Awareness Month by partnering with BetterHelp, who, by the way, is the sponsor of this episode. BetterHelp is an online platform that allows you to easily match with a therapist in your area who understands your background and life situation. I've used BetterHelp myself, and I love how easy it is to use. So I'd love for you to try it as well. Head to the link in the show notes for 10% off your first month with BetterHelp. Now, let's get back to the episode. You know, it's not selfish to take care of yourself. When you take care of yourself, when you honor your needs, when you respect your boundaries, then you're able to be in better relationship with your romantic partners, with your friends, with your family members, at your job or in your business. But it all flows out of you, which is why unconditional love for other people can't be a thing. Because the second you say that you're going to love someone no matter what, first of all, your words create spells. You go around talking about how you're going to love people no matter what, you are going to find out what that no matter what is. And if you continuously allow people to drag you through hell, you're not even going to love them anymore. You're going to feel resentment. You're going to feel unappreciated. You're going to feel like these relationships aren't worth it because they aren't. And then where is that so-called unconditional love that you were talking about? So again, we don't do unconditional love around here. We very much do conditional love. It's not out of a place of selfishness. It's not out of a place of being mean. Um, It's not out of a place of, you know, putting people through tests, making them jump through hoops. It's very simple understanding that reciprocity is important, is key. It's understanding that boundaries are important. It's understanding that communication is important. You know, you are telling people, I love you enough to do everything that I can to have a great relationship with you. That starts with taking care of me first. Hey there. So you made it all the way to the end of the episode, which means I have two things to say. One, Thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. And two, you like me. You really like me. So I would appreciate it if you would show that like by subscribing to this podcast so that more people can hear about it and enjoy it as much as you do. And if you want to know more about any of the links that I mentioned on this episode or any guests that I've had, be sure to go to KeishaRice.com slash links. That's K-E-S-H-I-A-R-I-C-E dot com slash links. I can't wait to talk to you again in the next episode. So see you then.